Spencer down, and Atlanta leads eight to four. Contact, bats it away. Another fast break for the Hawks. Rivers on the pull up. And it's 12 6 Atlanta, and Atlanta is playing well early. Rivers against Rodman. And that counts. Superb move by Doc Rivers. The foul, the basket, and a chance to go to the line. You have to meet Detroit's intensity with intensity of your own. Doc Rivers gets the penetration against Rodman. That won't happen very often. The good concentration and gets that one to go. And John Battle with the rebound. He just came into the game. So they've got Battle, Rivers, Wilkins, Malone, and Contact on the floor. Rivers shakes free for the jumper. 23 to 14, Atlanta. You want to give Dominique an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one against Mark Aguirre. That's one thing that they would like to get. But Mark has done a good job both times. Rivers knocks it down. He's got a 13-point first quarter in the works. And Atlanta leads by seven. Detroit scored the first basket of the game. This is their first lead since then. They've outscored Atlanta 18-4 on this run. Rivers, a very consistent first half. He has 15 points and is 6 for 7 from the floor. Dominique has 8 rebounds. Bob Weiss said he's got to help us on the boards, and he has. Rivers with a fall away. And it's 52-48 Atlanta. The Hawks have some momentum now. You've got to pick Lane Beer up out there. He's got three-point range. Vinny Johnson misses. Rebounded by Willis. The Hawks with a chance to go up by six. Rivers, a shake and bake, and a jam. He's got 21 first half points. Atlanta leads by six. And Detroit will call a timeout. Where Doc Rivers has been the guy the Hawks have been able to count on this first half. He's hit eight of nine shots and poured in 21 points. The Hawks now giving Detroit only one shot at the basket. They've been able to build a six-point lead for that reason and using the quickness on the other end. You see right here Kevin Willis very aggressively gets the rebound. That leads to the early offense, and this is something you won't see Detroit do very often. No help from the weak side, and Doc Rivers with a big first touch. This is the biggest lead for the Pistons. Doc Rivers answered. He's got 23, 21 coming in the first half, and it's a one-point Detroit lead. And we still haven't seen the Detroit starting guards get involved in the offense at all in this game. You know that's going to happen, and that's going to put even more pressure on the Hawks. The Pistons have turned up their defense in this second half. Rivers locks it down. He's keeping the Hawks close. He's got 25 points. The microwave just blew up. <laughs> 92-90 Atlanta. Vinny's hit 10 of 14 shots tonight. Rivers has cooled off somewhat after a big first half, but he comes back. He's got 29 points. He had 21 at halftime. A steal by Kevin Willis. Rivers got it. Open up a six point lead. Chuck Daly calls a 20 second timeout. Now, Chuck Daly uses his timeouts as well as any coach in the NBA. He sees that the Hawks are making that little run that I've been talking about. He needs to stop it. He hopes this 20 second will do it. Once again, you get the good defensive plays, it leads to the easier opportunities on the other end. This guy has had a huge, huge game to this point. Well, Doc Rivers has hit his last five shots. He led the way in the first half of the Hawks, and he's doing it again in the fourth quarter. Well, and I watched, I looked over at Bob Weiss after that shot, and he's just scratching his head. Rivers for three. Moses Malone with still another rebound. Rivers scores, and a foul. Phenomenal tonight. A career playoff high of 34 points, and he's given his team a seven-point lead. Well, Moses Malone kept it kept it alive. Let's give Moses some credit. Doc Rivers just sneaks in along the baseline. The Pistons call a timeout. 